everybody. I'm just planting some flowers, getting these tubs filled up with some flowers and herbs, and I'm gonna be planting a tub of lettuce. But I thought it might be nice to take you guys down to Jacob's garden and let you see what he's doing in his market garden. He's got some vegetables going and he's gearing up for his first day at the market, hopefully in just a few weeks. So let's go take a look. <laughs> what you doing? Hey you. Hey. What you doing? Nothing. Nothing? You got the perfect spot for your trucks, don't you? Okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Hey bud, what you working on? Testing out my new wheel hoe. Looks pretty good. We just got finished working on this, but I'm still kind of working out the quirks and getting it set up to run. I think my handles are too high. It looks like it's doing a good job though. Somewhat. So I thought you could take us on a little tour and tell us what all you've done to the garden and what you're working on. Sure. Why don't we show you the fence first? Sure. I just finished putting this up uh, about a week ago. This is an electric deer fence, a high tensile wire deer fence. And what it is, is I've got six strands of electric wire down low. It's 14 gauge high tensile wire. And I've got two strands up high. Can't they just jump over? Is that the purpose of the outside? That's what this outside line's for. Uh, this outside wire messes with their vision. Okay. And they call it a 3D fence. And basically the deer see this and that, and even though that's a short fence, and even though this is short, they don't want to jump it because they don't know the distance between them. Down here, I've got cool season crops, and I just got these planted. Uh, most of these are fairly late, and the reason for that is I had all sorts of delays this season. And number one was the manure. I had to wait on the manure to get here, as well as some of the other amendments, and it took a while. It was about two or three months late. And then on top of that, there was also, I mean, we had some late cold snaps. Um, not really abnormal, but... This is a valley, unlike anywhere that we've lived before, and so that's a learning curve with frost in the spring. Yeah. And then uh, another thing is just trying to get the ground worked up. It really does take some time to get it working and worked up and, and, and till that's fine enough for me to even put a seed in the ground. Yeah. So, and with that and rain, it's, it's pretty challenging. So, but anyways, I got stuff in. I lost some plants because of that, but that's all right. I'm, I was originally kind of focusing on cool season crops in the spring here, but I've shifted my focuses and I'm kind of adapting to focus on warm season crops. I'm going to try and make up for these cool season crops in the fall. And I'm going to really try and hit it hard in the fall and going into early winter, which is not something I'd originally planned, but that's just part of it. You got to adapt. Yeah. This is, uh, this is what I've been using to fertilize some of my garden. Uh, this is some aged turkey litter composted. It's gone through heat. And I've mixed that up with a fertilizer mix based on a soil test. And, uh, and I put that on the garden and tilled it in and that's my fertilizer. This is a manure spreader. This is what we used to spread it on the garden. Uh, we have a concrete pit up there by the house. It used to be a silage pit. And what we did was put all the fertilizers and the manure and the limestone in that pit and mix them all together with the front end loader on the tractor. And then we loaded this manure spreader and this manure spreader spread it all throughout the garden. This belonged to my grandpa. He bought it in an auction a few years ago and he never did get a chance to use it. So uh, anyways, we got to use it on the garden. So now you're putting it to good use. Mm -hmm. So what do you have planted here? Right here, I got cabbages immediately to the left here. And I got, there's about 500 feet of cabbage. And then there's another 500 feet of cauliflower. And there's about four or 500 feet of broccoli down at the end of the row. These were pretty well shocked because I let them get so big in the cold frame. Um, and then putting in the ground was almost like transplanting bare root plants. But uh, they've gotten over that now. And the only problem is I've started to see some purple come up in some of the older leaves and some of the newer ones too. And it usually that's phosphorus. So what I did was just a little short in my phosphorus fertilizer. And I had wondered about that when I had amended this. So um, it's better to have too little phosphorus than too much because you won't get rid of it. So I came back and side dressed and they'll perk up within a day or two. I've got, uh, I seeded this just a couple days ago before the rain. I've got around 200 feet of lettuce here. That's a lettuce mix. Another 200 feet of head lettuce that I seeded. 
I lost all my lettuce plants that I had in the cold frame to a groundhog. Uh, so I had to reseed, which isn't a big deal. It, it comes to harvest really quickly. And uh, down here, I've got another one, 200 feet of Swiss chard. This is all successions. I'm putting, a lot of these crops are going in successions and some of these all succession sell all summer long. So I have a crop to sell every week. Mm -hmm. So every week, I'll sell a crop that'll be ready one week later than the one I sowed the week before. And it keeps me in stock with produce to sell all summer. Right. So right here, I got a really nice row, about 500 feet of beets, and I'll be harvesting those for the roots. There will be thinnings, I'll sell us some salad greens. Uh, and then I've also got another 500 foot row of turnips that isn't up yet, that was seeded just a couple days ago. Turnips. And then another 500 ro foot row of carrots. Awesome. And so the carrots should be, they're starting to come up. I think they'll all be up within a day or two. That here, I've got three rows of potatoes. I plan to put some more in. And some of these I'll sell those new potatoes, which are the really small potatoes that you harvest yeah. as early as late May or June. Before long, it'll be time to put in peppers, squash, zucchini, uh, cucumbers, watermelon, watermelon Ooh, cantaloupe, okay. sweet corn. Uh, any warm season crop you can really think of, I'm going to be growing it. Now, did you buy all the seeds or did you also use some that you had saved back? I plan to save some in the future, but almost all of this was seed that I bought. Okay. Because uh, again, this is my first garden on this place and the first year in this garden plot. So, and uh, so most of my seed was bought okay. from a couple different local companies. Morgan County Seed and I bought some seed from Holmes Seed and I bought some from Harris Seed. And I believe I bought a couple packets from Johnny Seeds and Seeds from Italy. It don't really look like much right now, but give it a few weeks and it'll really start to shape up out here. you'll be able to follow along as we harvest those vegetables and take them to the market. And if you got any feedback, like what you'd like to see at the market, uh, leave a comment below. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.